Aw oh, man, I hate when I find a temperature in Celsius when I need Fahrenheit. If only there was some way to fix this. Hey little cat, did you know there actually is a way you can fix it? No way. Yes way, little cat, and it's using a thing called formulas. Gee Jack, what's a formula? A formula is a relationship between two given quantities. So say that the equation is, or the formula is to multiply by 3 and then subtract 4. 3 multiply by 3, subtract 4 would be 5. 4 is 8, 5, 11, 6, 14, and so on. So to find the output for 7, we just have to multiply by 3 and subtract 4. So 7 times 3 is 21. Minus 4 is 17. Same thing with 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 4 is 20. And that's the basic definition for a formula. Now this is epic, but how do I convert Celsius to Fahrenheit? <sighs> now that's another example of a formula, young cat. Now, the conversion from Celsius to Fahrenheit is simple. You take whatever degree Celsius, multiply it by 1.8, and add 32. So let's say you're trying to convert 48 degrees Celsius. What you would do first is write it out while well, I'm writing it out, but here. First things first, what we would do is multiply 48 times 1.8. So. times 8 is 64. 32 plus 6 is 38. Drop a 0. 8. Put in the decimal point. That's 86.4. Then you would just add 32. And there you have it, folks. 48 degrees Celsius is equal to 118.4 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's also how you convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. And that's just one example of a formula. Thanks so much. Now I can destroy those haters with my Fahrenheit facts.